The collapse and death of Matthew Mangine Jr. almost two years ago now influenced the direction of our Athletes at Risk project. We dug into emergency action plans and life-saving equipment like defibrillators. We also dug deeper into Matt's death and the wrongful death suit filed by the Mangine family. We obtained documents and depositions from that suit. And as Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us now, our investigation reveals a key piece of evidence missing from that day. Hey dear Matthew, happy birthday to you. It's a moment families celebrate every year, gathering around a cake and singing a song. Matt Mangine's 16th birthday is a moment we can see because his mom recorded it. Eight months later, been counting down once. This is a moment we can't see. Can you hand with anything? The 16-year-old collapsed on the practice field during soccer conditioning at St. Henry High School on June 16th of 2020. The school has cameras, but does not have video of the emergency because the security footage was not saved. Local 12 investigates obtained the video depositions of Principal David Gish to find out why. Who made the decision to not capture the footage from all those other cameras? Maybe I didn't make myself clear before, but I made the decision to capture all the video footage from the incident, which was the cameras on that side of the building, anything that had viewership of that field. That was me. That was you. Right. Okay. Gish says he only saved footage from one of the four cameras overlooking the practice field. He says one got vandalized, one wasn't working, and the other didn't show any part of the field. Lawyers for the Mangine family filed a motion asking a judge to sanction the school for not saving that video. Your Honor, it's uncontroverted that the principal of St. Henry, knowing that he had a duty to deserve, uh, preserve evidence, intentionally chose not to preserve critical key video footage. The depositions we've obtained show lawyers for the family, St. Henry, the Diocese of Covington, and St. Elizabeth argued extensively over this footage in February. And so we scoured the records to give Mr. Gish all the benefit of the doubt to see if it was vandalized again. No. So we have every indication to believe that this was working. The Mangine family attorney argues the cameras in question would have shown where Mangine collapsed and where athletic trainer Mike Bowling and the school's AED were located. Instead, only footage from one camera facing a parking lot still exists. So again, he tried to save that video because that was the most important evidence. Judge Richard Brueggemann has not made a decision whether the school and or the diocese will be punished for the video not being saved. For Local 12 News, I'm Christian Hauser. So the judge in this case moved the trial date for the wrongful death lawsuit back to January of 2023. That's more than two and a half years after Mangine's collapse. Our full coverage of this case and the tools needed for safer sidelines can be found at athletesatrisk.com.